Fox 8 News is New Orleans' most watched late news. Fox 8 Local First starts now. Tomorrow morning, mandatory evacuations go into effect in all of Terrebonne, Lafourche, and St. Charles parishes. And there are mandatory evacuations in Lower Jefferson, Orleans, outside of the flood protection system, and parts of Plaquemines Parish. Good evening, I'm Shelley Brown. And I'm Lee Zerg. Hurricane Ida is forecast to be a major Category 4 storm. And we will have more on the evacuations and the preparations for Ida. But first, we want to start with Chief Meteorologist David Bernard with the very latest on the timing of the storm's impacts. And guys, it's times like these that I wish the forecast is wrong. But right now, we're going to have to go with what we see and what the environmental conditions look like. And that's the potential for a powerful Gulf hurricane. Here's a satellite picture tonight. The center of Ida is just beginning to reemerge in the Gulf of Mexico. There was quite an explosion of storms a few hours ago. Those cloud tops are not as intense now, but that's probably only temporary as Ida gets reorganized as it emerges in the Gulf of Mexico after its brief trip over the western tip of Cuba. Again, that new advisory coming up in about the next 45 to 50 minutes. The 7 o'clock position had a Category 1 storm just west of Havana, Cuba. 80-mile-per-hour winds, pressure 985 millibars. We're going to be watching that closely because the hurricane hunters are out there right now. The forecast brings us to a Category 3 in the middle of the Gulf by tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. and by tomorrow night going into Sunday morning, a Category 4 storm approaching the Louisiana coastline. That's the 1 p.m. position. Notice we still have quite a bit of a cone here. There still could be a shift to the west. There could even still be a little bit more of a shift to the east, but very consistent models, as you'll see in a moment, continue to bring this near St. Mary and Terrebonne Parish uh, Sunday night into early Monday morning. And look at this. There's Sunday at 1 p.m. There's Monday at 1 a.m. It takes 12 hours to go that far. The storm is going to be slowing down as it turns, and so that's going to raise the flood potential, also uh, the potential for power outages as well as the storm pushes farther inland. There's the 1 p.m. position on Monday, weakening over the Delta, and then uh, Sayonara as we get into Tennessee and northern uh, portions of Mississippi going into the day on Tuesday. In red, these are wind warnings, hurricane warnings in effect all of our parishes in South Louisiana, our Mississippi counties, Pearl River, Hancock into the east. A tropical storm warning is in effect there. This is the current hurricane hunter flying through the storm uh, right now. It did see a pressure of 991 millibars. The complete circulation, I don't think, is yet on or in the Gulf. And so the plane can't fly over land because of severe turbulence. So notice how he kind of touches the coast and then he moves back out. But it's going to be staying out there, uh, the plane is, until it gets out over the ocean. It can get a full reading of the storm. All right, when do we need to be ready? Uh, the yellow is the most likely area of tropical storm force winds, the red hurricane force winds. So let's kind of take this out into time. During the day tomorrow, we're okay. But then once we get to Sunday morning at 6 a.m., sustained tropical storm winds start to reach the coast. Now notice this. Look at the cone. The tropical storm force winds extend beyond the cone. Remember, the cone is just where we think this little red circle is going to be, the center. The impacts can extend well away from the center. And then as we go throughout the day on Sunday, hurricane conditions spreading into the bayou parishes, tropical storm force winds across the rest of south Louisiana. And this could be a hurricane all the way into the Baton Rouge area early Monday morning, very reminiscent of what happened with Hurricane Gustav. So significant impacts are expected to the north and west for Baton Rouge's. A major hurricane at landfall. That's the forecast from Ida. Tomorrow's our last prep day, but we've got a good solid 24 hours of prep to go. If you've been ordered to evacuate, you must do so. There is a high threat of dangerous rising water where you live, but bad impacts are highly likely, whether it's rain, wind and power outages, or storm surge anywhere in the Fox A viewing area uh, as we go throughout the weekend into the beginning of next week. Computer models. We've got a couple of new ones tonight. You know, I always watch this black line, the consensus model, and that one has not wavered. If anything, it's moved back to the east about 20 miles tonight. Uh, earlier, it was in western Terrebonne Parish. Now, 
The consensus model is going right through the middle of Terrebonne Parish. So this is telling me that coming up at 10 o'clock, there's probably not going to be a drastic change in the track. And that consensus model does bring it right over the Baton Rouge area where we showed you there was the potential uh, for hurricane force winds. The key to the end game in all this is the blocking high and how weak it gets on the western ed edge. That could be enough to wobble this 20, 30, 40 miles during the last 12 to 18 hours. Tomorrow, though, it's holding tight, so the storm keeps moving northwest. It's really late Saturday night into Sunday. There's questions as to how weak this is going to be and if it's going to slide the storm a little bit more to the west. It doesn't take that much of a change in the atmosphere in order to get slight deviations in that track. But either way, it looks like we're going to be over or to the uh, east of the track, meaning significant impacts here. Dangerous water levels, storm surge warnings for the Mississippi Gulf Coast, all of southeast Louisiana in pink. And it looks like our peak storm surge, the peak storm surge west of the river could be 10 to 15 feet from Cocodrie to Grand Isle. East of the river, including Lake Bourne and the Mississippi Gulf Coast, somewhere in here we could have water levels as high as 7 to 11 feet and 4 to 7 feet for Lake Pontchartrain, at least based on the latest forecast. Rainfall, there's the center line along and east of the center line. That's where we're expecting the highest rain totals. It's hard to put a number on it, but just to say the chance for severe flooding is very high over a good part of southeast Louisiana and even the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We could have rain bands that extend that far to the east that produce some very heavy rain. It's a rainy night tonight in Terrebonne Parish. It was kind of rainy across the area today, but most of that has moved out. If you see the metro area and the North Shore and the Gulf Coast tonight, uh, all things are quiet. Stay ahead of the storm with our Fox 8 weather app. Have a way to keep your devices charged. If we lose power on Sunday and Monday, you'll still be able to watch us streaming through our apps, both news and weather apps as well. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes with uh, more information. Of course, a new advisor coming at the top of the hour. Yeah, let's go, Rick. So you'll be back at 930, David, with uh, your weather cast. Right. And what about five or ten minutes later, he'll come back to us. We're going to do a little, little question and answer with David. And then the big, the new track coming up, what, right before 10 o'clock tonight, David? Yeah, right before 10 o'clock. And we'll have the full advisory, the complete track and intensity forecast right up at 10. All right. We will see you coming up in a few minutes.